Okay. So today we are going to look at max if s or ifs, min if s or min ifs, sum ifs and count ifs. After this, we will talk about error handling using if error and if na functions. Then we will proceed to conditional formatting. Okay, this is the agenda for today. This is what we are going to learn. So let's start with max ifs. For this, we will use the same data source which we've been using yesterday for the practice file for ifs functions. And I had shared this file with you all in the WhatsApp group. Uh, and from now on, we will be sharing the files through our LinkedIn page. So please do uh, follow us on LinkedIn so that you can get all these data files from there. Okay. So let's just... Uh... Look at max ifs, okay? Maybe I'll just clear this off. Or let me, no problem. Let me, please. Okay. So this is my condition now, maximum sales. What is the condition? I don't simply need the maximum of the data in the sales column. If that was the case, we could have used the max function. But we need to get the maximum value based on some conditions. So for conditions, and because the, I'm going to be using multiple conditions, more than one condition, I will use max ifs. Okay, so what's the requirement? The requirement is this, for whatever year is entered by the user in the year cell and whatever is the state that is entered here. For that year, from that cell, from that state, we are supposed to get the maximum of the sales value. If you look at the condition right now, for the transactions which happened in 2000, 2013, corresponding to the state of Colorado, I need to figure out what is the maximum sales. Okay, so how to build a function for this is equal to max IFS. Okay, I have a lot of conditions to check. Max IFS. And look at the arguments. It is asking us the max range. See, we are telling it to pick up the maximum value. So from where is it supposed to get the maximum value? From which range of values is Excel supposed to fetch the highest value, the maximum value? That is max range. So we need the maximum of the data in the sales column. So I'm selecting it. I'll do a command shift down or control shift down. So the whole column is selected and I'm going to hit comma. You can see the formula getting built in the formula bar. And also I'm back here now. So what was the criteria? Max, maximum value based on certain conditions, therefore IFS. So I have to pick up maximum value from where? From the sales column, so I've given that range. Now the criteria range. We are going to mention some conditions, isn't it? We're going to mention some conditions. So the range where I have to check for that condition. What is my first condition? I want the data for a certain year. So that is the first. Now, where is year now? Isn't it? Where is year? Okay. I need the data for 2013. But Excel is supposed to look for 2013 in which range? That is criteria range 1 in this range. Command shift down. Okay. I will put a comma. Look here. I put a comma. Then what is the criteria? Okay. I am supposed to check. I am supposed to check. This particular range, criteria range one, I'm supposed to check this, but what am I supposed to look for? I am supposed to look for the year that is mentioned here in the cell H3, okay? Whatever is the value here, comma. I have another criteria, like that you can keep giving multiple criteria. So the next criteria is, I need Excel to look for a particular state. 
So where is it supposed to search for the state? In which range of data is it supposed to search for the state? In this particular column, right? So in this particular column, it is supposed to look for the second criteria. The range is this. And what is the criteria? In this range, what is it supposed to look for? It is supposed to look for the state Colorado. Okay. So I have defined both my conditions. Now I'll simply close the bracket. Did you all understand this formula? Is it clear everybody? The formula part? Yesterday there was a little confusion, I think, right? On max IFS. So I hope now it is clear. You have to check the arguments in the formula. We are trying to look for the maximum value, but from where is it supposed to fetch the maximum value? That is max range. We are going to specify some criteria. It has to check for that criteria against some range. So criteria range one, criteria, criteria one. Criteria range two, criteria two. Like that if you have many more, you can keep on specifying them. Here, that's it. Our job is done. I'll hit the enter key. And you can see how it has fetched 8446. So let's do a manual check. Colorado, year of 2013, because we have only four transactions. Maximum here is maximum sales is 8446, which is what we obtained. Okay, 